I'll be showing you how to create an organic house track from scratch using Outputs Arcade. So let's dive in. We're going to start from a completely blank Ableton Live session here. The way I usually start is by setting the right BPM. Organic house is usually between 120, 123, but I feel like taking it a bit slower today. So I went for 118 BPM. And therefore, I'm just going to choose any kick just as a rhythmic foundation. Yeah, this one's good. Fair enough. Let's assume that you're not really feeling that inspired and you don't know into what direction you want to take your track into. So you can either decide, do I want to go into the melody area right now or into the drum area? And since I do feel like programming drums now, that's exactly what we're going to do. Then load up Arcade into a new MIDI track over here. I have a low cut set by default, so we don't get any low end just yet. So now I'm going to look for a line or a library that contains drums. And I can either search over here, let's say drums, and then it'll give me a variety of different so-called samplers, instruments, and samples that are relevant to drums. You have a variety of different keywords here that you can also choose from, but a feature that I really love over here is this lines tab. So this is basically how Arcade sorts their sounds, and you have these libraries contained in here. One of my favorite ones all time is this distant voices one, but we'll get back to that in a second. Remember, we're looking for drums. So you can just scroll through this lines tab until you find either an image or a description that you really like, and you can just choose one. So, oh, okay, hi-hats instead of hi-hats. Let's load this one in here. So let's click this guy in here, go to line page. And for this specific line, you get to choose between samplers and samples. And even within a line over here, you get to choose different types of keywords. So you can filter those lines down but instead of hi-hats is honestly also a really great library if you just want to get a hi-hat groove going that doesn't sound so static and normal so that's what we're going to do here let's double click so we create a midi clip and then we can preview through the samplers here there's so many usable snippets in that loop already we can continue yeah, let's say I like this one. Then let's click this piano over here. And now if we have a MIDI keyboard connected, we can record on the arcade track here. And it automatically syncs up with the session tempo, which is 118 BPM. And we could, if we'd like to, even choose a key. Let's say, I don't know, A minor, sure. Let's lock it to that key by clicking A minor. Since this is a non-tonal sound, it won't matter as much. But when it comes to vocals, it will matter. So let's keep it at A minor. And let's play the instead of hi-hats loop with our kick. Kind of like this one here. Let's continue to scroll. Yeah, this one contains a bit more of a groove with some claps in between. Highlight. And then we can take another snippet and layer those two on top. And once we find a combination of layers that suits each other, we can then go back into Arcade. And these black circles with icons correspond to the black keys on your keyboard. So let's drag this clip to the very end. If I hit play, you can see these two layers are playing simultaneously. But we can also modulate and manipulate the layers using these black keys, right? Now that's where you come up with your unique sounds. And let's say we want to draw in these black keys every now and then. So we have a loop that sounds various, that has, has more variety in it. And we can always tab out and switch back to arcade to see which of these black keys we're currently using. Okay, so the first one and these two we're going to put down. All right, so I want a bit of modulation towards the middle here. That's nice. And we can do the same for the second bar. It's just that I want to have this one placed here. Okay, that might be a bit too much. That one too. Remember, black keys correspond to the modulating ones. And you can also add effects over here using these very intuitive panels. Small room reverb always works well on hi-hats and those perky, glitchy sounds. Give it a bit of dirt. 
The cool thing is that you can at any time drop into the original sample here. Maybe shift the attack, the release. But I'm pretty happy with the sound, so I'm not going to do too much here. And after I get a sound that I'm pretty happy with, like right now, you can always create a new audio track and resample that audio from here into that specific track. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to duplicate it. We can disable the arcade layer and use Ableton Live's warping features to modulate the sound even further. So let's go to beats, forward transient, dial down the transient. That's something that I like to do to keep the sound very short. Nice. By the way, you can use the link down below to get 50% off your first month of arcade after a 30 day free trial. So check it out. Back to the groove here. Let's add some auto pan. So let's keep the MIDI from the hi-hats here. Maybe we can do something out of that later. Go back into the lines panel over here. Click lines. Another line that I honestly really love using, I'll show you in a second, is called warped. And in this panel, you see instruments. So before we had samplers, samples. Now we have samplers, samples, and instruments. So we're going to click on instruments here. And if we click on one, play instrument, we can play this instrument. <laughs> So it isn't playing samples, it's now playing like a synth. So you also get these integrated synths. And these are all included in lines. So lines are like the primary category and samplers, instruments, and samples are the subcategories of those lines. And you can also read what each and every line gives you. This one gives me pads, textures, and rhythms. But honestly, I wanna go back into the samplers panel for now and preview a couple of these sounds here. Yeah, I kind of like this sound. So we're going to hit play sampler again. And what happens if we use the same MIDI from previously? Okay, that's a bit much. Start messing with these. Okay, it's a bit quick. So we're going to click playback and set it to half speed. All right, so we get a slightly slower groove. Kind of like this one because it contains some acoustic hi-hats. And we can blend in these black notes then. I like this one because it contains a tom inside. Maybe disable the low cut. Nice. Let's add this one here. Create a new audio track. Solo this guy. Resampling. Record arm and record. Loop it up. Shift the arcade mini. Drag this one up. All right. I'm just going to jump through a couple more lines that I really like. And by the way, you can also save each line or favorite individual samplers. For example, more options, add to favorites if you really like one. Now let's say you're looking for something rather organic. We have that in here too. We've got extra perks. Extra perks is also a really great library. Rhythm culture, open that up. Samplers, pretty good. And let's continue to preview these sounds here. Now I don't have every single one of these loaded on my PC, so I could just download a sampler that I really like. For example, seven congas, eight bongos, sounds good. It's gonna take a second to download here. And there you go. Then you already have this sampler on your PC. If you hit on this device, it'll show you every single one of these devices that's already downloaded. And we're just gonna play this one. So let's go for something more conga-ish. And let's add a few of these black notes for modulation in between. Also got some shakers here and some clave, which can be awesome for organic house. There we go. Sounds a bit more organic now. Yeah, just reduce the velocity a bit as well. Guess we don't need these. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. And if you're too lazy to resample, you can also duplicate the layer. Right click, freeze track, right click, flatten track. And then it creates you this freezed out version of what you've drawn in as MIDI. And I do like working with audio because it does enforce a bit of creativity. Let's add some more movement, auto pan. Some rough mixing on the side here. We can group these tracks as drums. Hi. All right, there's one more drum layer that I'd like to add before we move on to the more of a melodic style. Go into lines. Let's search up another line. So let's say I want to go for something really organic now, even more organic. I'm going to look up field of sounds. So let's go into this line page and preview a couple of sounds. 
So this one's great to get more of a ambient texture into your sound, into your track. So let's play this sampler and you can again record arm this arcade track and then start playing. Get so many samples that sound really textural and ambient. Interesting. Change these tones here. Some delay. Ooh, trippy. It's kind of like dub right now. And if it feels too reverberant, reverby, you can also choose this reduce ambience preset under audio effects, dynamics, multiband dynamics, reduce ambience, put it here. These are the low frequencies, these ones are the highs. Maybe let out just the highs. Muffle the lows a bit. Yeah, so we don't clutter our mix. Low cut, just in case. It already looks good. Let's give it a slight high boost. All right, let's move on to the melodics. Duplicate the arcade layer, right click, freeze track, flatten track. Nice. We can now delete these effects here, drag the MIDI along. So we still keep the MIDI, but we've resampled the audio from previously. So we stay in that creative state and also save CPU. So again, I could go into the search panel and search up voice. It'll give me basically everything that's associated with the word voice, or I could type in chords and it'll give me more lines, AKA samplers that are associated with the word chords. And you can also dial that down even further by choosing a tag. So I could also delete this and just keep it with the tag. It'll also basically filter the same way. So you can also get inspired by these individual little tags. Let's say we wanna go for something more atmospheric and type in pad. So I'm looking for an atmospheric pad and already we see so many different types of samplers. And then we could continue scrolling, continue scrolling and it just never ends. But I do know that I have a line that I prefer for using pads, which is called Aura, Aura. Now I'm just gonna go into the lines page over here, stick with samplers, and now let's search. Let's play this one. Interesting, play sampler. Yes, sir. Yeah, already gives me some pretty cool results straight from the start. And let's see how long we can drag this note. That's organic house there. Nice. You see these little lines over here? They indicate that this MIDI clip is looped at that point. If we want to consolidate it, we can just hit Command J to consolidate the entire clip. And now we can see these looped points aren't looped points anymore, but individual MIDI notes. And now we can just change them. Just gonna dial up the velocity. You see all of these notes are locked to A minor. We set that previously. You could also change the key here and it perfectly pitches the key. You could also stick with G sharp minor. Why not? Just messing around. Maybe add a few little modulators. So these black notes in between so we get a more inconsistent sound. Again, just testing around, experimenting. Mm. That's actually nice. I like how it repeats when we use this A sharp. So maybe we can create a rhythmic pad. It might be a bit too much though, so let's dial it back. Maybe just in this little section at the end of every bar. Maybe change this one here. Nice. Now, since I found a progression that I like, I'm just gonna change these little macros here. And what's cool is that you can also open up this panel over here, hit configure, click on every single one of these macros and you can assign LFO to the macros, put it here, click map. I don't want that much depth. And now let's assign the LFO to each and every single one of these macros. So we get some more automatic modulation without having to touch it over and over. You can also open up this panel, maybe invert a couple of these parameters here. 
So we get opposite movements for more ebb and flow type of vibe. That's not too much. So crank down the depth, maybe offset it a bit. See, so some start really high, some go really low and move in that range. Just soft movement. Now we can load up an EQ here so we don't get that much low end mud. Maybe emphasize the highs a bit more. You can also add a reverb, the reverb before the EQ. Maybe stack an echo. Who knows? Make it really atmospheric. Yeah, I'm gonna loop this section up and maybe change the last note. usually load up reverb and echo next to each other especially not on an insert track but hey i'm just going with a sound designy approach today so that's fine so we have a nice vibe nice track going so i would like to now create a new arcade layer and this time i'd actually like to keep the midi in here because when working with melodic information i do like to get back to the midi every now and then again i'm gonna use arcade load it up in here go into lines and now here's where it gets really fun distant voices literally my all-time favorite library if you're into those tim green style vocals then you are going to love this library but again i like samplers the most because those contain a more hooky vibe i'll show you in a second why and remember previously we we chose G sharp minor on the Aura pad within this panel over here of Arcade. We're also going to select minor and we're going to select A flat, which corresponds to G sharp. We're going to play a couple of these. No, too low. Let's continue to search. Adoration, maybe. Oh, yeah. I mean, like those Egyptian vibes here. Why not? Let's go for it. And see how they correspond and play together with the pads. Pads and vocals need to align. So again, I'm going to create an entire clip. Consolidate that one. Nice. And we're just going to load up an echo so those vocals fade out for a longer period of time. I'm going to use an Echo Boy Jr. Honestly, got it eighth notes with a bit of feedback, put it onto memory mode, slight high cut, and a bit of saturation. Why not? Ping pong, dotted, great. So Pull it to the background. list goes on forever so i could create a new track with another arcade layer and also what i love about arcade is that it's regularly updated you can also check the home panel to see what's new over here and just scroll through what's recommended you see vocals chill vibes melody writing and it's pretty flexible for many different genres i've used it for melodic techno previously you see i'm working more in an organic house direction so it's very fitting there patterns for example let's load that one up into samplers just make sure you're on this right key a flat minor and let's play a couple of these nice maybe juniper oh yes yeah let's go with this one guitars always work well with organic house so i'm just going to double click and insert maybe a few of these oh so we have some nice phrasing going on every two bars we have that repetitive theme Oh, I like the shaker. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. In between these lines, you get melodic information as well as drum information. And just by drawing in your MIDI, you come up with ideas that you otherwise wouldn't have come up with. Got the lows. 
little bit more panning, especially because of the shaker going on the sides. So much movement and dynamic. <laughs> okay, I'm going to duplicate Arcade once more. And for this layer, it's going to freeze and flatten. Flatten, so we get that resampled into this layer. Isn't that just interesting? And a feature that I really love about Arcade is that you can also import your own samples. So you're not necessarily limited to the lines and samplers, instruments that come with Arcade. Let's say you'd like to create your own Tom Groove. So you can just drag and drop your samples into Arcade. It'll give you this message over here. One new sample linked from your machine. There it is. Disable the queue. Nice. And from the sample, we can now generate a sampler to make it a bit more unique and mangle it more. And it always comes with these effects presets. And if you don't want them, just make sure to disable them. You have these different sample slicing algorithms. We're just gonna go with standard for now. Record arm the track that we are currently playing. Got ourselves a new tom groove and you can layer that with the other samples. Modulate them using these black notes. randomize and let's see what happens if we play that together with our loop yeah the creative possibilities with this thing are pretty much endless and that's really why i love using it so frequently just gonna hit save and play since i do like it and it'll give me this really nice custom kit and i can access my custom kit anytime via your stuff custom you can also see all the samples that you've imported you can favorite individual sounds libraries instruments etc we're gonna play the tom for now since toms are very usual to have in organic house nice auto panning the tom but i'm still making sure that the bass frequencies are in mono keep a cleaner mix flatten and delete the clips that we don't need and we've got ourselves a track going so if we were to start arranging this we could just duplicate from here maybe high pass the kick in the intro like that for the first eight bars let's say dropping the kick here take away the kick here Quick automation. Same for the melodies, melodics, and pads. So lush. If there's one thing that I feel like is still missing, is a transition sound and arcade does cover those as well so let's go into lines search up stitch so we're basically gonna stitch our build with our drop samplers bright risers or maybe effects yeah that's what i'm looking for just a white noise sweep so i'm gonna download this line play sampler place a midi clip right here where i want the transition to take place and draw in the note that i'd like to play Legato. Oh, nice. Nice. I should add a bit of echo to make it fade into the drop. I like that one though. Maybe we could pull it up a bit longer. 
Take it, legato, and echo. Let's use echo, not echo boy this time. Yeah. All right, let's give it a playthrough here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.